first, let's get it out of the box. Now this is what you should have inside of the box. A manual, a plug adapter, the voltage regulator, and the spare fuse in the back. Now, as an example of a product that needs a voltage regulator converter to work properly, I'm going to use this fan. This is because the fan was made to be used in Europe, which has 220 volt outlets. But I'm in North America, where the outlets are 110 volts. Before we begin in plug in the voltage regulator converter, make sure the switch in the front is in the off position and the correct input voltage is selected in the back. Since I'm using the voltage regulator converter in the US, I'll make sure the input switch is flipped to 75 to 130 V, which will display 115 V as the input voltage. Now, since I'm using a 220 volt fan, I'll plug it into the universal outlet labeled output 220V. It's also important to note that this fan, as it explains on the label, only uses 135 watts, and that is less than the maximum wattage the transformer can handle. Now, I'll plug this converter into the US outlet using the provided plug adapter since the voltage regulator converter has a European power cord. After that, just flip the power switch on. Just make sure to wait for the delay light to stop blinking until it's a solid green before turning on your product. Voila, success. If by chance the voltage converter regulator doesn't work, then this most likely means the fuse needs to be replaced. Turn off your voltage converter regulator, unplug the voltage converter regulator, and on the back, unplug the product, and then unscrew the small piece labeled fuse. Replace the faulty fuse with one of the extra fuses provided. Screw the cap back on. Plug in your product. Plug in the voltage converter regulator. And turn on the power switch.